Hi, I'm Laura Engel, and you're in the strategy room. Forget throwing shade. Bernie Sanders is declaring an all-out war on DNC Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. The Vermont senator is making an effort to unseat Wasserman Schultz in Congress by backing her opponent, underdog Tim Canova, and is sending fundraising emails on his behalf. Now, Sanders also says if elected president, he will replace Wasserman Schultz at the helm of the DNC. Joining us now to weigh in on this political feud are Iona College Professor Jeannie Zeno and Republican strategist Brian Morgenstern. Welcome to you both. Wow, a lot going on with this. You know, we keep watching this kind of amp up and up and up. And some people now are asking, is this serving as a sort of proxy war for Sanders? If he can't beat Hillary, is he going to try and take down Wasserman in this, uh, Wasserman Schultz in this fashion? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I, I mean, I think the DNC has played this wrong from the start when it comes to uh, Bernie Sanders. And so I think that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the DNC, they do own some of this. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at the debate schedule alone, and any thinking person can tell you it was not set up in a fair way. And so, and I, I, I think you can go right through the litany of things. And so it's no surprise that there is no love lost between Wasserman Schultz, the DNC, and Bernie Sanders. The problem for Bernie Sanders is, you know, how is the only option he has to win this thing is to pull over these superdelegates? And yet he's attacking the DNC. And who are these superdelegates? These are members of the DNC, right. unlike Bernie Sanders, who is famously an independent until he decides to run a little while ago. And so he has a big challenge on his hands. That said, for Bernie Sanders to say he's not political and get involved in this House race, I think is fascinating. And, Brian, do you think, I mean, first of all, do you think that this will work? Do you think that he will succeed? Do you think that he's playing smart? It is totally on brand in the national sense for him to do this and to gin up more uh, fundraising revenue, more uh, allies on the local level. I mean, because he's the anti-establishment guy, and there is nothing more establishment than a 20-year incumbent in Congress who leads the DNC. And to, to Jeannie's point, Washington Schultz did this to herself. She has long-time ties to the Clintons, and so being in this position leaves her with two choices. Keep your position by saying you're neutral, even though nobody on earth is going to believe you, or admit that you're a Clinton person, in which case you'd have to step down as DNC chair. So neither of which obviously is a good option. In terms of the local level, though, it's unlikely to work because Wasserman Schultz's district is Clinton country. Hillary right. won that district big time, and she has won her own elections time and time again with huge margins. So it's un un unlikely to work, but it's a good news cycle for Bernie, very bad for the DNC. And, Jeannie, I mean, we're also focused on what's happening with the presidential election ramping up for November, but how vulnerable is Debbie Wasserman Schultz in this election? I mean, are, are people maybe not paying attention to this, but is she vulnerable? Yeah, I mean, as Brad said, I don't think she's incredibly vulnerable at this point. This is a district that she likely can win. But I do think, even if Hillary Clinton is the nominee and is elected president, I do think Wasserman Schultz's term as chair of the DNC is coming to an end. She has had a very bad presidential election cycle. We've seen members of her own party peel off out of frustration as to how much of this has been handled. So I think her term as DNC chair is coming to an end. Do I think she'll retain her House seat? Probably so. But I think the challenge is the challenge we're going to see for the Democrats going forward, which is a challenge from the progressive left at the local level, at the state level, and at the national level. Those will continue. And Brian, do, what do we know about the relationship between Sanders and who Wasserman Schultz is running against? You know, you talk about the relationship between Wasserman Schultz and Clinton, right. but what about the Maybe has there been an existing relationship that's on record? I think this is Bernie, uh, this is an acolyte picking up the ball from Bernie and running with it, and Bernie's like, okay, let's go with it. Because th there's an effort, uh, not just in this district, obviously nationwide, Bernie talks about how, and his campaign manager, Jeff Weaver, talk about how we want people not just running for Congress, we want people running for school boards and town councils because they want the, the progressive left's movement to survive this campaign, even if Bernie can't overtake Hillary. All right, and real quick, Sanders has offered fundraising help to a few more progressive congressional candidates. Uh, we're talking about Nevada, Washington State, and New York. So do you think as we get closer to November, he'll play a larger role in helping these down-ballot candidates. There's a lot more going on here. Real quickly to you. Yeah, with his fundraising prowess, he absolutely will. And this is what I mean about his legacy lasting regardless of what happens in terms of the nomination. Brian, will it count? 
Yeah, oh, absolutely, and he is going to be a thorn in the side of the <laughs> establishment, uh, yeah, until his last breath. I mean, he is not going to let this go. Have you guys ever seen anything like this? I, politics? I have not. We have had crazy elections, 1968 famously, but this has been one for the record books. Absolutely. Yeah. It continues. <laughs> I, I mean, all my predictions have been wrong. But, <laughs> wrong. But, 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 at <laughs> least, but at least I'm in good company, right? <laughs> well, we'll keep bringing you back. Thank you, as always, Thank for your you. perspective. Sure. Great to have you here, Jeannie and Brian. Thanks. For complete coverage on the 2016 election, you know it's been good. Go to foxnews.com. I'm Laura Engel. Thanks for watching.